Hey guys, Stomp Master here. Uh, welcome to Garatina Weekend. So, uh, we are raiding Garatinas today. Um, we have lots of stuff to talk about as well. So, um, we did uh, some Garatinas already uh, this morning. Um, I did only record one, uh, so I'll go and bring you that particular Garatina raid uh, battle. Um, and has lots of information on how to generate your raid team for... Uh, for the Garatina raids. And then we want to talk about the bug event that's about to happen that we didn't get to mention. Was, the announcement came out a couple days ago, but we really didn't get a chance to talk about it. So, all right guys, well enjoy the Garatina raid and we're about to talk about bugs. All right guys, so we have our first Garatina um, of the re-release, uh, the altered form. Um, so, what I'm gonna do now, is I'm gonna build my team. So. You go to your Pokemon storage, and you go to your parties. So you have all your parties that you've set up, and things like that. So I have the EX Raid, Gym Stomping, then Dialga, um, and then I have my, my empty slot. So I'm gonna take my Dialga one slot, and that's gonna be my Garatina one slot. All right, so if you remember from my Raid Guide video, Number one is going to be Rayquaza. So I'm going to go ahead and use all my most powerful Rayquazas. Again, we're going to want to look for the dragon. So I've notated them DG for dragon. Oh, let's go back. Number two is going to be this one. It's 98%. Then we have two 96s. Then we'll go with uh, the two 93s. So we'll have a team of just Rayquaza. Then, Giratina 2 raid team is going to consist of, since I don't have a lot of Palkia, I'm going to use 3 Palkia, and then I'm going to use 3 Dialga, because I did more Dialga raids. So 1, 2... It was all my best IV ones and three. So three and three. So those are gonna be all my they're all gonna be double dragon moves for Giratina. Then just to make sure. Okay, so Dragon Breath, see this one's not even ready to go. Draco Meteor, perfect. Okay, Draco Meteor. Draco Meteor. Alright, all my Palkios are ready. Then Dialga, <clears throat> Draco Meteor, Metal Claw, and Iron Head. Okay, that's not one's not good. Dragon Breath. Okay, and then I think I use this one. This one's Draco Meteor and Meteor. Uh, Draco uh, Dragon Breath, Draco Meteor. So that one's ready to go. So my teams are locked and ready to battle this Garatina.
with that Garatina was get it was a little easier than it was before. So that's kind of cool. So bug time. All right. So a bug event was just announced two days ago. Um, in in game notifications. Um, that's going to start on April second. Um, so April second at one p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Then uh, it's going to go all the way until April 9th. Um, at uh, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So what's gonna happen is that we're gonna get longer incense time. We're gonna get more Pokemon that are gonna spawn during the incense. Um, as of right now, incense only spawns uh, one Pokemon every five minutes if you are standing still, or one Pokemon every three minutes if you are walking around. So um, maybe they'll increase that to one every two minutes or one every three minutes just across the board, who knows. Uh, but they are going to increase the number of Pokemon that are going to be inside uh, spawning from incense. Um, also, there's going to be more bug type uh, Pokemon spawning in the wild, of course. So that means your Caterpies, you got your Pinecos, you have uh, Spinarak, uh, Scyther, Pinsir, all those different type, different bugs, uh, Venonat, things like that. Um, so this also, since we're going to get more of the... Uh, different types of field research. Uh, we could see the return of Ninkata um, in the field research tasks, which evolve into Ninjask, and we could see a possible also return of Shedinja, um, which is the one of the it was one of the seven day research breakthrough rewards. Um, so we'll see what happens um, there. We don't know what the new shiny is going to be, but you know, Caterpie and Pineco currently are available in shiny, and Pinsir are also uh, currently available as as a shiny. So you're going to be able to get uh, have a not necessarily a higher chance of getting it, but since they're going to be more spawning in the wild, uh, you may have an increased chance of uh, catching one of those shinies. So the featured Pokemon is Scyther. So this could possibly mean that we're going to get a shiny Scyther, which is going to be awesome because Scizor was one of my absolute favorites from Generation 2. Um, I do have several, uh, I don't have any Scythers ready to evolve, but I have a 98 and 96% IV ones uh, that are already evolved um, that are were set up to battle Mewtwo when he was out or any other Psychic Raid boss to, for that matter. So um, I think this bug event is going to be cool. I enjoyed it last year when we had all the Ninkata quests and all the Caterpie quests. Uh, that's when I just went ham on Caterpies trying to get a shiny um, and a Pineco trying to get a shiny. Um, if I recall correctly, it was win a raid for a Caterpie. I'm sorry, win a, win a raid to get a Pineco. It was catch five bug for the Ninkata and something else for the Caterpie. I don't quite remember. But um, we'll see if those specific quests do return. Um, if not, we'll have new ones, and I'll bring you those details once uh, the uh, event drops. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, don't forget to share this video with your friends. I am looking to get to 100 subscribers. Uh, we are so close. I think I'm at 91 right now. So let's get to 100 and then shoot for the 1,000. So let's get that started. Share with your friends. Like, subscribe to the video. Um, and then share it on your other uh, Pokemon Go uh, website, but Facebook pages, chat groups, things like that help uh, seriously help me out. So definitely appreciate all your guys' support and everything like that. So don't forget to stomp that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. See you guys in the next one.